Hi folks, Kieran here again. Hope you're all good. Just, do a, just doing a quick video here about uh, freedom of speech. Um, there's been a lot of stuff over the years about freedom of speech. Um, stuff like deplatforming people. That was a few years ago. People getting deplatformed if they um, were saying things that people didn't like. Other stuff about safe spaces, it's just been around over the years and uh, I've had a few thoughts about what we should do about this stuff but uh, for some reason it's been t it's taken me a little while to get around to making a video about it. Uh, anyway, here it is, Here's a, I thought I'd just sketch out my thoughts about this issue. So, what should we do? I think that um, we do need a balance between safe spaces and freedom of speech um, it seems to me that there are some areas where we really need freedom of speech, uh, mainly like politics and academia, journalism, maybe the arts to some degree. And kind of the rest of the time we want to be safe from people harassing us for our weight or our race rather, or appearance or weight or that kind of stuff. So um, basically what I recommend is we have uh, laws that divide, the, divide society into two areas. One where there's absolute freedom of speech or freedom of opinion um, and the rest of um, situations where we, we have the kind of hate speech laws that we have now. Um, so... As I just said, I think the areas that we really need to, in my opinion, need to have absolute freedom of speech and freedom to say offensive things even um, are politics, um, any kind of political discussion sort of area, journalism, academia, and as I said, uh, some some art to some degree but i don't i don't want mainstream art to be to be able to sort of insult people for their their race and so on um but i think there is it it should come under sort of freedom of speech um somewhere um so the the rule i would have is that you can in those spheres just mentioned those absolutes sort of freedom of speech, or not absolute, but these freedom of speech um, areas, you can say your opinion about, uh, even though if your opinion might be offensive, but that wouldn't, but you wouldn't be able to just insult people. So I wouldn't be able to say, um, let's just take boldness, for, for example, because I'm bold. Um, uh, you could you couldn't say in the political sphere you bald bastard to someone's face, but you could say some really offensive opinion about baldness, like bald people are um, more violent or something, or there, there's something wrong with bald people beyond their lack of hair, um, because. I uh, this could be a video in itself to kind of justify this stuff, but I think that. Um, uh, the, that we shouldn't really have a censorship of those views because we just don't know. A given generation of, of humans doesn't know exactly what's true and what's false. And if that generation kind of locks out certain things you can say, then it's difficult for that society to realise the truth when it's just because it's sort of banned thinking allowed at least the sharing opinions about this this opinion this thing so i mean it could be the case that bald people are more violent so um but it also is probably the case that it's not very nice for bald people to hear this this opinion um as I say, uh, I don't want bald people in the street to have to suffer people on trains or in the street sort of saying, sharing this opinion with them because there's no there's no need for that. We have, we will have uh, forums where you can uh, say those things. Now in our society at the moment, I think baldness is not really a protected uh, 
characteristic under the law, but I'm talking about these other 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 things like gender and age, and so on. Where um, while well, most opinions are most sort of opinions against these groups are probably false and, and entirely bad, it is possible that we might learn um, and realize there's some truth in some things that are that some people might find offensive now. For example, if you this is a bit like if you went if people censored opinions like fifty years ago, a hundred years ago, they might make it say it's immoral to to support to say pro gay things. Uh, but now we've realised um, that pro gay is okay. But if we'd had if we'd like censored it then from the political forum, then we might have been slower to come to our opinions now. Now, obviously, people are people who do work in Parliament or work in journalism are going to suffer hearing very bad things about themselves or their group occasionally, and that's not nice. I, it's not a nice thing that will happen. But I think, on balance, it's better that we that those people have to suffer that in order that we have freedom of speech and can move move forward, and people can freely. Um, freely share their thoughts and develop their ideas, and we can we can move forward. Um, there are uh, some subtleties to all this. There's more to it than this, I guess. Um, like, are we? Um, so, if you if you're in some sort of political forum and you do say something, uh, something offensive or something that would now be offensive, now would be banned. Um, how does it work? Are you are you are they able to kick you out of any forum and put you onto a sort of side forum or or something? Are they, are you, can you be silenced? Can you be moderated at all? Um, I haven't fully worked out my opinions about this. I think that I think that if you're a member of of an organization, a political organization, or an academic or a journalist organization. You should never lose your membership. Should be protected. I don't think if you say something really horrible about a group, I think you should never. There's no organization should be allowed to kick you out because I think that is bad for freedom of speech. Um, but I think if you're a, an elected person, if you're like chosen by people um, less powerful than you, then I think those people could be allowed to to deselect you. Um, but I don't think that the whole you should be able to lose your position if you if you're not elected if you if you're like selected by people sort of above you then I don't think they should be allowed to um, you should be allowed to suffer from exp expressing your your views. Um, but uh, as I might have already mentioned, I don't think you should be allowed to um, insult people though. There's no need in the in the for the for the kind of justifications I, I was giving earlier in terms of moving our thinking forward, there's no reason to actually insult people um, for that. So there's nothing wrong, I think, with someone being kicked out of a political party for expressing these kind of views in a, in a horrible way. Uh, just like you can't, you could be kicked out of a party now for saying you wouldn't have to say something sort of racist or anything you to be kicked out of a party you could just be very unpleasant to someone else you could be just um harassing someone else and uh, you can get get kicked out for that and that's uh, that seems fair enough um so have i covered it all well okay so last point is um the arts i mentioned i think the prime time you shouldn't i think offensive stuff could be kicked out of prime time but uh, I don't want artists to be silenced in general so in the recent case where we had uh, these blackface um, comedy sketches where white people were playing black black characters and wearing makeup to look like black people uh, they, I think recently those sh a lot of the shows kind of got cancelled or something or kicked off websites um, I think if that stuff um, is hurtful to some people, then I think it's right that that stuff gets edited. I don't see why the whole show has to get, get kicked off. Um, 
forum uh, um, website. Uh, I think we could just cut the offensive parts, but I would like, I think we should have the offensive parts on the web, uh, but in a more out of the way place. So you have to kind of look look for it a little bit or some some sort of or pay for it or pay a little bit of extra money or something something some extra herded hurdle so that um people aren't like black people don't have to like sit down and they see the mainstream thing like they're in a uh, in a waiting room or something and there's like blackface coming on tv i think it should be um a little bit more out of the way um but i think for the sake of freedom of speech and freedom of artistic expression i think it should be shouldn't be completely sort of destroyed anyway i hope you found those views interesting and uh, all the best